Hey, 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 guys, it's -a me, RK Akasma. Welcome back to Metal Gear Solid 5. Today, that uh, wrong thing, we are undertaking episode 41 Prophecy War Without End. Uh, let's see. Involves many fighting vehicles, and well, we have to eliminate the whole column. In such, I could change an arm if I really wanted, but I do not feel as if we need it just yet. Instead, we're going as this. Now then, there is a new FOB event, as there is one every month. And this FOB event, I've been waiting for. I, I haven't been able to play it before, and this one is really unique. I, I really like it, because, well, it, it, it's just so unique. And I think the people that do watch the series will like it as well. Plus, I, I get to have fun shooting some big boy guns. Now, I'll, I'll be quiet for this. assembling an armored column to the north of Nova Braga Airport. Your job is to wipe them out. Listen to the tape for the contract details. Just be aware that the column's commander served with 5 Commando, who later made a name for himself in South Africa's 32 Battalion. He's a hardened veteran, so don't take him lightly. Boss, I have a report from the intel team. The targets are now on the move. I've sent their predicted route to your iDroid. Check your map. And that is basically the summary. And, and now I'm really nervous about if I'm recording or not. Be careful down there, boss. I'm just gonna pause it here. Alright, I was recording. I had to make sure though. I notice I don't have my 50 drum. They're all coming here. So how about we, uh, you know, make a little, uh, steak out over here. You can invite them over for some steak. DD's mainly here so they don't get a surprise on you. And any guards that might be around. Easily could have done this mission at night time. I would have made it a lot better. Is that an S? This way? Oh, 
too. Roger that. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. I'll take this bad boy down.
Everybody die, Snake. I'm pulling them out of there. Nice work, boss. The targets are almost history. Oh, by the way, I have 1,400 men right now. Come on, Snake. If I manage to get an S rank, that, that that's going to be something else. Mission complete and how? If it's 130,000, I get an S rank. One, the scoring for an S rank is 130,000. And I got 5,000 more, so I could have took my time a little more. Got 300 grand from that, so that's pretty good. As tradition water drink pretty nice pretty nice water this water tastes uh, pretty good uh, I, I, I taste the bottle just a tiny bit but not that much and that's okay the hamburgers of Kazakira Miller ah yes oh now that's a nice one it looks nice good you captured it alive you get special stuff for S ranking stuff. Sorry, I, I'm fully max. Sorry. Boss, as we suspected, the mastermind behind the kid's escape was Eli. It's hard to believe, but apparently he'd been plotting an armed uprising against us. He could be hiding something else, too. Ocelot's gonna press him for answers. Get back here as quick as you can. I told you, your father's not here. <clears throat> they're back. Yes, they're back. But don't get any bright ideas. Your quarters are under full surveillance. Your weapons privileges have been suspended. No more uprisings for you. Did you really think it would be that easy, Commander? You'll get your boys back. See the box too. But first, I need to know what you sent them to do. <clears throat> they wanted to leave. To their homelands. They wanted to go home. That's all. So they were just homesick then? Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> Militia warlords, PFs. 
the armies that murdered their families. Cousins, brothers, parents. They all had someone they wanted to kill. <laughs> I told them, last chance to face the world with no regrets. Last chance. You better be ready for your drag back here. Ready to face the world as enemies. <laughs> <laughs> Father, I don't need you anymore. Ralph really an accident? Or did Eli just rig it to stir up the boys? Either way, he had to have been planning for this all along. Bidding farewell to the world. kids in Sohalampovus, but there's still no sign of them. We don't know if the chopper pilot is alive either. What have we gone and put in the hands of those kids? We don't know how bad this is until we find them. Also, regarding our concerns about Eli, I finished looking into whether or not he's a product of that project. I have an answer. I put it on tape. Give it a listen. Boss, I've updated the mission list. We've received some new job offers. The details are on your iDroid. There is about to be some major information revealed. First, I am going to play this one, then I'll play the, uh, you know, gold information. You're probably not going to hear from me until, like, the end of the video, so... Yes, yeah, see you in, like, ten minutes. You know, when you brought back all the child soldiers who escaped, Eli knew they'd returned. Needless to say, nobody said a word to him. I guess they got a message to him somehow. Eli wasn't put in the corner in time out. He was locked up in that room, completely cut off from the outside world. Then how do you find out? It's only one possibility I can think of. The Soviet Union has been researching military applications for psi phenomena. Psi? Things like psychokinesis and ESP. Extrasensory perception. You mean moving objects without touching them? Knowing what card somebody's holding up? Psychic powers? Come on. I thought that was just another bunch of disinformation aimed at the West. Just bear with me a second. One type of ESP is telepathy. It's the ability to know another person's thoughts through nonverbal means. You're saying Eli read our minds? It's the only idea that doesn't involve someone getting to him. <sighs> Ocelot. Look, Psy research isn't some hocus-pocus. It's all evidence-based, scientific... There's gotta be another explanation. Maybe one of the kids stuck a note to your back. I hope that's the case. But I am convinced that they have, or Eli has, a connection to some force we have yet to identify. You better watch yourself, boss. How am I supposed to do that? 
If he is depending on something for help, well, that's his Achilles heel. If you can figure out what that something is, you might be able to use it against him. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, and the medical team is looking after the kids left on Mother Base. For the moment, they don't seem too panicked. But boss, get this. Eli got those kids to plot their armed uprising as a diversion. Also, he could steal Sahalanthropus and escape. That Brad got us good. Set us up and knocked us down. And then there's that mystery kid who was with Eli. Those two working together, I'd say things won't be over for a long time yet. Boss, welcome back. Face. Real name unknown. Born in Hungary, more specifically northern Transylvania, after it reverted to Hungary from Romania. While he was young, the country allied with Germany as part of the Axis powers, but later during the war, it came under Soviet occupation. The Hungarians struggled for independence, but the Soviets came down. Hard. Just like he said, time and again, the country was ruled by a foreign tongue. When he was a young boy, he lost his native language, the bedrock for any developing child. His country, his family, his face, his identity, everything was stolen from him. All he had left was his skull. Skullface first tried his hand at espionage during all the chaos from the war. Agents, military officials, and soldiers who operated out of Hungary during the war vanished over the course of several months. This Soviet spy hunt rocked the counter-intel world. Mysterious fatal illnesses, accidental deaths, drownings, people having strokes behind closed doors. Just like Stalin, no one knew who was behind it. But all you need to do was look for who had the motive. They were all taken out by a man without a face. And now we've got an idea of how he did it too. He'd gotten revenge for his people. But he wasn't finished. Skullface defected to the West, eventually ended up with the SAS. That's where he met Zero. It's possible he began planning this whole thing back then. It's hard to say. In any case, Zero made him his XO. He always did have a thing for oddballs. But this one was set to lead a unit no one else would know about. When Zero created Fox, he also formed XOF as a support team. An unconventional special forces unit designed to support Fox, make it stronger. With Skullface given the orders, Zero never even told the boss about it. Nor the CIA, naturally. If Fox was Zero's silver bullet, XOF was the recoil when he pulled the trigger. Just like Newton's third law. While you were with Fox, Skullface was operating behind the scenes. Sometimes as your backup, sometimes as a mole or a scout, sometimes as your cleanup crew. Fox's tail, making sure the mission succeeded and that you survived. We only have his word to go on, but Skullface's goal was revenge against those who'd use language to subjugate people. Good job. Those corrupting a people's identity by forcing a new tongue on them. Those using the power of language to control information. Naturally, that set his sights on Zero. To Zero, English was simply the most convenient code. But to Skullface, English was a parasite. And by eradicating it, he'd stop the world from being eaten away. If that didn't work, he was ready to see the world scorched by nuclear fire. To save language, culture, and race from annihilation, he was willing to overstep the hands of the doomsday clock. That is, of course, if you believe anything he had to say.
Once we've got the results of Eli's genetic tests, we can finally put this worry behind us. We used the PCR technique and conducted DNA fingerprinting of the copied DNA sequences. Neither is mainstream science yet, but the concepts and procedures are sound. Both tests say there is 0% chance that the two of you are blood relatives, meaning the results are negative. He's not your son, nor is he your clone. He's just another person. It was 12 years ago that Zero made plans to clone you. Eli's age and appearance certainly are a good fit. I admit the first time I saw him, I did a double take. But it looks like we were worried for nothing. Eli isn't your clone. Though you might still have one somewhere out there. But if Eli isn't the boss's clone, why does he seem so obsessed with him? Not to mention having one hell of an attitude for his age. I don't know. Learning the truth about himself, cursing the fact he's a clone, bearing a grudge against selfish adults, and coming to hate who he was cloned from. Big boss. If that were really the case, I could understand it. I might even feel a bit sorry for him. <clears throat> but no clone could have a totally different DNA fingerprint. And the test left no room for error. You yourself were there when we drew Eli's blood sample. Come to think of it, when we went to OKB Zero, he'd snuck onto a chopper and was there. Yeah. He was acting strange even then. Or actually from a little before that time. That was exactly when we began these tests. Maybe he suspected something when we drew the sample, not knowing what we were doing to him, and becoming mistrustful of us. Hard to say. Eli's had an attitude problem from day one. So what is he then? Well, if he's gonna tell us that himself, We'll need to get him to open up more first. Bombshell of information has been dropped. To say the least, the game is pretty crazy. Um, what you just saw was... Well, we were down here, in this room, interrogating Eli. This is where he's been locked for a while. And well, it's all anthropist, let's see here, R&D platform. R&D, uh, let's see here, it's all anthropist was held on, right here. All the way over there. And... So it jumped pretty high, probably landed up there, came down here, situated itself, and then whammed its head right in there. Uh, uh, as well as one of its arms, like right here. And then Eli got in it, and they took off that direction. You, you know it is, because if you go back in the cutscene, you can see that there. I don't remember if you can see that, but it, it, it's this platform. sat up there one time. I know Code Talker is up there if the weather's nice. During Mission 2, you can see Ocelot up there as well, making watching construction. Miller is the only one you don't see. And I'm like, oh, okay. 
About Eli hijacking Sahelanthropus. We know how he got it moving. It was Emmerich. He used the kids in the staff living quarters to carry out his repairs. We got the details on tape. You're gonna want to hear this. But we're not done. Here's another thing to listen to. What was your goal in having the children repair Sahelanthropus? I just answered their questions. I had no idea they would actually try to fix it. I mean, can you imagine a child piloting it? Oh, sure. Easily. It wouldn't work. Well, I bet it's just like riding a bike. I said it didn't work. It... Who did you try? I, I didn't. Did you put your son in it? Uh, we never did that. His name was, uh, Hal, wasn't it? I, I thought you said you never saw his face. But you made him pilot Sahelanthropus. You used him in your experiments. He wanted to get in. <sighs> it was such a short time we had. So he was with you. We were happy. You're still happy now. Changing your lies to suit the listener and getting by slipping through the cracks. Building layer upon layer of convenient stories until nothing means anything to you anymore. You're happy all the time because you don't even notice you're doing it. Think hard. Who are you really? You're not a victim and you're not the silent majority. You're a perpetrator and a petty hypocrite. The real world doesn't make you suffer. It's the other way around. Another, you know, important thing of information. And, well, yeah. That was this episode. Next episode. Extreme Metallic Archaea. Pretty hard. It, it, it'll test your skills, but you, you already know I'm about to do an FOB mission. Has any photos changed over here? Up there. Not really. There's Olive. There's a uh, Skullface. Real name unknown. See you then.